and no doubt a lot of attention has been generated in Elgin following those earthquakes. But Elgin is also making headlines for a stunning discovery made by a former USC archaeologist and his team of researchers. They found evidence that shows an asteroid or comet exploded over Kershaw County thousands of years ago, causing huge changes to life in that area. I wanted to come to White Pond because I knew that the mud and the sediments in the pond had a record of climate uh, over the last at least 20 to 30,000 years. Christopher Moore and his team of researchers believe they found evidence of an extinction theory called the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. The theory suggests an asteroid or comet hit the Earth nearly 13,000 years ago. That evidence, they say, was found at the bottom of White Pond in Elgin. Well, when you dig down in certain areas, you're going, it's going back in time. So you start at the surface and you have the most recent time periods. And as you go down, it's like a time capsule and you're going further back in time. And so we excavated probably about three or four feet over here in the area that we, we put in a, a, our block units. And uh, at the deepest uh, part of the block, we have artifacts that are 12,000 years old. Moore says evidence found in the pond sediment suggests an asteroid or comet exploded in the skies above South Carolina. If so, the event would have caused massive wildfires, creating enough smoke to block out the sun for several weeks or months. And it may have been enough to contribute to the extinction of several large animals that roam the earth. It's possible that we had mastodons. We had herds of mastodons coming here to drink. Uh, we could have had herds of bison. Uh, that certainly, based on some of your work that I've done, is suggestive that we probably had herds of bison, elk, other large animals. The fossil record for that time in South Carolina is also not very good, but we know if you go further back in time, uh, there's all kinds of evidence of mammoth, mastodon, uh, giant ground sloth, saber-toothed cats, uh, you know, you name it, very large animals that all went extinct. Researchers were also looking for evidence of the Clovis culture. The Clovis were considered to be the earliest Native Americans. Artifacts of the Clovis people are found throughout the United States. These people were here. Uh, they made this very distinctive stone technology, and then they seem to very rapidly change or shift. They don't really, I'm not saying they go away, but they transition around the beginning of the Younger Dryas about 12,800 years ago. And while no evidence of the Clovis people has been found here, Chris tells me they will expand their search in the coming weeks. They hope to find more evidence to support their theory. It's a highly debated topic, and I think it's, uh, the opinions of archaeologists and geologists vary. Uh, it's, it's like when the uh, dinosaur extinction asteroid event, when that evidence was first presented, it was highly controversial, and it took a lot of time and work to actually, before it was widely accepted. This is not widely accepted necessarily, but there's plenty of evidence to support uh, you know, some, an event happening. And since it happened once, could it happen again? Uh, you know, you hear uh, reports all the time of asteroids that come between us, the Earth, and the Moon. Uh, and most of those are fairly small and it wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily do a lot of damage. But there are some out there that are large enough to do significant damage if they were to hit the Earth. And it's just a matter of time before that happens. Christopher Moore is now with the Department of Natural Resources, but is still involved in that research project out at White Pond. He and his team plan to be back in that area in the coming days.